Would you like a two-year fixed at 3.35% when rates currently on a two-year fixed are at 6%? Well, we've had a product launched and 3.35% sure enough. However, the devil's in the detail. So let's talk about it. I will leave a link to the article um, that I've seen below in my description, but there's more to it than this. So let's uh, catch up on the video and I'll run through everything. Okay, well, let's get to it straight away. Skipped and Building Society have launched this product, 3.35% for existing Skipton customers. Now, that could be basically Skipton members, Building Society members. 40% you need to have deposit or, or equity, sorry. Um, and if you don't have that, if you've got 10% equity, it's 3.59. All sounds great. Rates are at 6%. Everybody else is giving you a 6% two-year fixed. You're getting one at 3.35%. What's the catch? Well, the catch is it comes with a 5% lending fee. 5% of the loan amount lending fee. So you're basically loading that on and that could be 5% for the term of the mortgage. So you're paying interest on that. So it's a very short term fix and there are some dangers around that and we're going to talk about it. Right. Firstly, let's talk about Skipton. Skipton is the same building society that a couple of months ago launched a 100% mortgage. Remember that? Remember that frenzy? Every Tom, Dick and Harry mortgage broker and estate agent did a video on it, including me. And I can tell you now, categorically, as of today, I wrote still no mortgages 100% with Skipton. The reason for that was the criteria involved was quite restrictive. And although I did get a lot of inquiries off the back of it, nothing really went anywhere when people started looking at it in detail and looked at the affordability model when you looked at the criteria model it just didn't fit and people said well i'd rather come up with a five percent or ten percent so it's a lot of pr and they've been they've done quite well over this over the over the years in regards to um putting press releases out there and doing product launches um, now the full details of this product is not quite there but you know you've got to look at it what type of people are going to take this? Well, they're going to be a people that are going to struggle to go on a 6% rate, first of all. I'm sure everybody can struggle to go on a 6% rate. It's not great. Um, but uh, Skipton generally have been very conservative on their affordability models as well as um, their uh, adverse credit criteria or credit criteria. So all those people that have got missed payments, late payments, mortgage issues, they're not going to probably qualify because they probably will not pass the credit score. Okay, so that's a load of people that can't get it. Um, and I think, um, it, you know, the problem with this high fee model, it comes from the buy to let sector. And now I've done many videos on buy to let and the fee models and why it's happened. But generally, what you've got right now in the buy to let sector is fees anywhere from, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven percent of the loan amount for the pleasure of the lenders giving you that money and then taking that money back out. So that is a sector that's broken right now and unfortunately the reasons for that are quite different because to get a um, a mortgage a high mortgage uh, uh, in in cases um, at the loan sizes they need the rates to be lower because they work out the rental calculation based on the lower rate so they're essentially loading the fee to bring the rates down okay this is a little bit different on the residential side they're still loading the fee to bring the rate down but they're trying to do that to make things affordable for the clients okay now i believe this is a form of debt consolidation and i believe this is a very dangerous path to go down because essentially what you're doing is you're just kicking the can down the line for two years. I think there is an argument if the product was available for a five year fix that it could give you a sufficient time frame to do some planning. If you have to sell, you can sell. If you're going to get hit with a shock, you can do something about it. So there is an argument if it was a longer term fix and generally on the buy to let side, those products that come with a two, three, four, five, six, seven percent fees they generally have to go down a five-year fix to get the rental calculation so it buys them some time and of course on the buy to let side of things you're generating income from that it's not a losing asset a property a residential property you're not generating income out of that okay you're just putting a roof over your head it's a different model and i think they've looked at the buy to let sector then well, actually, that's become the norm. Let's do that. And I think this is a very dangerous road to go down. Um, I hope it's just a press release. And I hope 
it's just great marketing because I think there'll be a lot of people tempted with this product. Uh, there'll be a lot of people, you know, what would you do if somebody comes to you and says, you know what, your mortgage is now from going from a 1.5 to 6% rate, if you want to go for a two-year fix, a five-year fix is a little bit cheaper, or why don't you get a 3.35% and then we'll add the fee on. But, you know, you, your, mortgage, your mortgages will be lower on a monthly basis. Is that manageable? So, in theory, that's what debt consolidation is, really. Um, and my own experience is, you know, most people tend to go, unfortunately, most people tend to add their lending fees onto the mortgage balance, okay, whenever they're remortgaging, things like that. So, um, and just to give you some context, on a residential side of things, most mortgages right now either come with no fee or a £999 fee or around about £1,500 fee. That's the sort of broad range of mortgages and remortgages when you're going for now sometimes i get and this is i've, I've touched on this in before let's say i quote a client with a one five point one five rate the client's very quick especially if they're keyboard warriors and they haven't had a conversation with me full on they go well um well maybe i've had a brief conversation with them but you know i've given them i've presented what i thought is right for them and they come out and go, oh sorry not good enough i've already been offered a five percent you giving me 5.15, what's the point? But then you have to point them out to the fact that, okay, don't just look at the rate, look at the fee, okay? Look at the incentives around it. Has it got free valuation? Has it got free legals? Has it got a cashback incentive? Has it got 500 pound cashback, for example? And calculate that over the term of the mortgage. Is it 24 months? Is it um, 60 months? Or So really, you've got to do your homework there, right? This product is not going to be right for everybody. There's going to be some people, and I'll tell you some people that could be good for maybe people that are, you know, looking to sell. They just need breathing space. They're not really, you know, what they just want to do is try to bring their um, monthly payments down. So, you know, essentially in a year or two, they're going to sell it anyway. So maybe you could think, okay, well, fine, I can go down that route. Um, but certainly people that are struggling um, and just want a, that relief for a, for a year or two, I think it's a dangerous road to go down because what you're going to find yourself is a lot of distressed client. That building society is going to find themselves with a lot of issues. Now, I'm sure, just like their 100% mortgages, there will be a lot more around this. And like I said, headline rates are different, but affordability will be looking into it. You know, how they're going to treat affordability, how they're going to treat the credit profile of that client. Um, what are they going to do in regards to signs of distress? Um, so all of those things will be taken into account. Uh, the devil's in the details. I'm sure there'll be a lot of videos and articles written about this, but I thought I'll give you my view on such a product. Let me know your thoughts about products like this. At least you can say they're trying to do something different. At least they're trying to give a, a different route. Um, it's not going to be right for everybody. But yeah, I for one, I'm probably going to stay clear of this unless it's you know really, 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 really suited to a client. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you on the next one. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.